Hello and welcome to the third video in a series of game development tutorials on how to make your own piano game app in Unity. In this tutorial we'll be covering expanding our keyboard on screen as well as all the piano notes in the code. Remember to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date with every tutorial I upload. Feel free to leave a comment or drop a like. I also have a Patreon page where you can help be a part of this channel, and you'll also find all the scripts and assets to this video there too, along with plenty of other things. You can also now join as a free member. Now on with the tutorial. So last time we had our code that when we press the letter Q on our keyboard it plays a note, and this key right here represents that. So let's get to a point now where we can align all of our keys together so as we basically have everything we need. So if you don't know what a keyboard layout actually looks like, you can actually decipher it from the notes that we imported. If you remember, we started with low C. Then we have a C sharp and then a D and then a D sharp and then an E and an F. So let's build up until F for now. So this key right here, if we select it, let's rename this to um, L C, which is short for low C. And let's now duplicate that. So I'm going to close that up so the text disappears. And then I'm going to hold control and press D. And what that will do is it will duplicate this exact object. And if we move it to the side, we can snap it into position there. And if we go to our game view, you can see that's where they are. Perfect. And there's a gap perfectly in between. Let's now call this uh, L D because th this is going to be the D key. Let's duplicate again, and obviously you can guess what that's going to be. L, E. Remember the L stands for low. And then we'll duplicate once again, shift it across to there, and this is going to be L, F. So we have four notes there, all good. But what about those sharp and flat notes? Easy. What we can do is we can take this C, hold control, press D to duplicate it. However, Let's change the color to black. And what I've done there is I've just selected over here in the image component, I've literally clicked on that white there and it will present you with this wheel and square and you can just change the color however you like. Now at first glance, it looks like it has changed the key itself, but it has not. Remember, this is a duplicate, so we can separate that right there. Now the position of a lot of notes depends on the hierarchy itself. And you can see right here that if we move it, it disappears behind the other keys and we don't want that to happen. So let's get around that. Let's change this now to low C S. Obviously the S is for sharp, so it's a C sharp key. So let's drag that down to there and let's not get confused with C sharp the script and C sharp the note. So because this is now further down here, it means that it is on top of everything that is above it. So we can move this freely around now without any problems. So let's move it into position where the sharp key would be. I'm going to shrink it a little bit. And I'm going to decrease the size. Oops, I've moved my panel there, but it doesn't matter. Uh, to, let's say, about there. And should do just fine. And if we press play, I just want to make sure that everything still looks OK when we press the keys on the keyboard. We shouldn't really have a problem. Once it decides it's going to let us actually play the game in our engine. It is worth noting, though, I'm going to kind of not rush through this, but I'm not going to take as much time as what you should building this keyboard up. Obviously, mine's going to look a little bit weird, but you should definitely take the time to arrange the keys, make them a little bit bigger, make it a little less clumsy is probably the right word to use uh, but we'll soon see how this looks um, so yeah we can still click no problem and although it doesn't quite look it you might be able to just see you can see the indication down here when i click the black key there we go so everything is working as intended so now let's do uh, d sharp so hold control on c sharp and press d to duplicate and in the scene view let's move that into position to be about there and let's rename this to d s so that's low c sharp low d sharp remember we have these here so we have done from c all the way to f now 
I think we have anyway, haven't we? So C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F. Yep. Okay. So now we need to change this so as we keep going, basically. Um, I am going to do this real time, but I, I am going to talk a little bit as well about why, what we're going to do and how we're going to approach this. So let's kind of cheat a little bit now. Let's select LC here all the way to LF and hold down the shift key and you'll select all four. Now, if you hold control and press D, it will duplicate all four, but it will duplicate them below their original uh, object rather than below. All you can do is just drag them down to there. And now let's move them into position. So round about there. Again, you should take a lot more time than what I do with this. I'm just kind of getting this through so we can move on to the next bit. Uh, so this one is, uh, so this is L, E, F. So this is L, G. And then this one is L, uh, A. And then L, B. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete that one because we don't need it right now. Let's get the low keys all set on our screen before we carry on. Uh, so we can take this low D, let's hold control, press D to duplicate and move it down to the end. And then let's move it into place there. And that is uh, low F sharp. And finally, if we can press the right keys, duplicate once again, and once more, and we have the first low end of our keyboard layout done. So let's quickly name these. So this is, if you look, G sharp and A sharp. So this one is low G sharp, and the next one is low F sharp. So we have half a keyboard set up there. Now we are gonna do the rest of it, but let's have a look how that looks in game view. Yep, it's not perfect, but it will do the trick. So how do we make it so as the rest of the keys on our keyboard, actual keyboard, will play notes? We have half the keyboard set up, so let's do this half of the keyboard. So let's go to our script once again. And the great thing is because we've already got this set out, we don't need to worry too much about writing code after code after code. What I am going to do is I'm going to go after this if component, this if statement here, and just below it, I'm going to put double forward slash. Do you remember when I mentioned the um, annotations? Well, we're going to do that, and we're going to put end key, just to give us an indication that that's the end of the key. And I'm going to hit return a few times. Next, what we need to do is declare all the variables for each note. That means we need to do low D, E, F, G, A, B, and the sharps that go with it. So to do that, let's take that line there, copy it, paste it, and let's say low D, and paste again, and then we've got low E, and then low F, and then low G, and then A and B. So you can see the um, how we're actually working this. You should be able, well, hopefully you should be able to see. And then let's do the sharps of those. So we've got low C sharp. Uh, we've got a low D sharp, like that. And then we've got a low F sharp, and uh, a G and an A. So I'm gonna copy those two, place them there, and change that to a sharp. So we've got all our low, keys and then all our low sharp keys. So how do we make it so all the other keys do as we want them to? Well, it's actually really easy. So we take that if statement there with the Q. In fact, let's take the end key as well, just so we can kind of differentiate between them. And you know what, let's just paste it a couple of times down below. Nice and simple. So it all says the same, but now what we need to do is change this bit here. So we want W, and then we want E, and then R, and then T, and then Y. And 
as we've done that, we've done we've got low C here, so we need to change this to low D, and then low E. Like it, it's really just as simple as that. Just kind of going through each one, changing the letter. Like because the code's already written, so why do we need to, um, you know, rewrite it? G, A, A, B, and B and oh that one I didn't change it did I so that's U. So at this point what have we got here? Well we have just basically written all of the keys for our majors. So now our, our you know our main keys I should say. So now we just need to do the same for our sharps. Now this one is a little bit different because we're going to use the numbers on here. We're not going to use the number pad. We want to use the keys that correlate above to the sharps. So rather than put input dot key code uh, one or two, we actually need to do a little bit extra here. So let's take this if statement here, and let's change this. We need to say instead of u, this is going to be the C sharp. Now Q is C, so logically number two would be the sharp of that. So we say alpha two, and what that's done is it's referred to the alpha numbers on top of your keyboard and that one will be c s and this one also be c s so you can see what we've done there we've changed this to say we're pressing two so that's our sharp so now we need to do a couple more so let's take that bit there and do it four more times so alpha three will be our d sharp and out there will no be alpha four. However, if we look at R, R is uh, F. So that means we skip a number. So rather than have uh, two, three, four, we'll actually have this as five, six, and seven. And then we change that to F sharp, G sharp and a sharp and save that script and i will put this script in the link in the description and the pinned comment if you want to download it it may seem a little bit daunting but if you take your time and look through it you should be able to understand exactly how this is all working and it looks fairly decent so if we head back into unity now after it has compiled the last thing we need to do for now is we need to duplicate all of our uh, objects here, which contain the notes and then reference them in this script, which is the scene control there. There's all of our variables. So now let's hold control and press D a number of times, duplicate. And let's go along logically and then rename. So low C, uh, that's now C sharp. And then this one is now D. So let's change that to low C sharp for the lowercase s I'm going to put. And then this one is a low D. And the next one after D is D sharp. I'm not sure why that's uh, zoomed in there. That was not meant to happen. Let me double click the canvas again. So, yep, that one is low D sharp. And the next one, low C, uh, needs to be replaced, obviously. So this one is low E. Change the name of that. Uh, next one, yeah, just you could probably skip ahead now because a lot of what is going here is just me doing something that you are probably already way ahead of me. So I'm just going to keep doing this. You go carry carry on, you know. Scroll forward if you need to. It's all good. Uh, so F sharp. And then the next one after F is, where is it? G. So that is low. If I can press the right keys, low G. And then we've got low G sharp. And then we should have low A. 
if it'll actually let me. Have we changed that right? That's right, yeah. Let's try that again. My typing skills are not the best today. Uh, so low A goes onto there, low A sharp onto there, low B onto there. Let's do this quick now. So that is low A, A sharp. And finally, low B. So we have all our notes in place. Let's actually put them into our scene control. So low D onto there, low E, low F, low G, low A, low B, and then C sharp, D sharp, uh, F sharp. G sharp, and finally A sharp. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save my scene. It's probably also worth noting that the uh, scene itself is the sample scene that comes with Unity. So just saving it will do the trick just fine. But if we press play now, we should be able to press all of our keys that are represented and they should work just fine. <laughs> Perfect. So next tutorial, what we'll do is we will quickly skim over creating the second half of the keyboard and we'll get the touch functionality of these notes working. So the main focus is going to be getting the touch functionality working. Remember, subscribe, click notification bell, stay up to date with every tutorial I upload and hopefully I will see you next time.